booming. Hold on for that. Oh, you see the lie? Hey, I'm viral right now, idiot. Mark. Check out Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He 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 ain't fucking with it. He's scary. Get your bitch ass on then. Calico Jones. Calico Jones. Calico Jones. We finna go fly oh, with you. That's that Detroit freestyle nigga, cuz. Yeah, Calico Jones. Oh, trying to bring out to the treasure. Y'all see what we are in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of Baghdad bullshit. Y'all see what over there? Baghdad. <laughs> Check that bankroll day out. No, nobody. Do that. These niggas, these niggas, these niggas, niggas scared. Yeah, they, 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 they think they Big Soldier gonna get them touched or something. Oh, we see him. We got one. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, we got YK up. Yeah, we got my boy. You met me. You gotta come by live with a nigga. My boy, we finna see some pennies off one of you hoes. Yeah, go live with us. Oh, sorry. We finna see. We finna. We see some pennies off. Hey, 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 Check it out. Clemson, check it out now. Let me tell you this. Y'all should already know how I'm going to start this video based on a title, man. Niggas. Okay? Niggas are only as loyal as their last fucking meal. And if you don't feed them last or if they hungry and you're not around to feed them, expect no fucking loyalty. Okay? Now, it's being reported that Soldier Boy homies, and I'm calling these niggas his homies very loosely, because Soldier Boy, if you don't know, apparently lives in Malibu in a rented, pretty much an Airbnb. Okay, according to him, he bought it for $6 million. Big Soldier didn't buy it for $6 million. Not hate, just facts. Now, while he flexes online and does all that, one thing I'll say about him is that he's a good-hearted person in that he welcomes in a lot of people into his house. Me, I don't trust niggas in my crib, okay? We could go to the mall, we could go to the club, we could go to a hotel to go meet some bitches to fuck, but we would not go chill at my crib, okay? There's few who could actually come to my crib. Actually, fuck it, none of these niggas can come to my crib, okay? Now, here's the thing. Soldier Boy, he meets a new prospective rap star in L.A. about every two weeks. They got a little movement. Some of them are street niggas, some of them are from his hood, Bompton. And what does he do? He takes him in. He says, yo, y'all gang, we fuck with you. Yo, you trying to get on? I'm going to sign you SODMG. Come to my crib. And a lot of times he even extends them to stay at his crib. Yo, y'all could stay here. It's all cool, whatever, whatever. Now, he moves around like any celebrity who's a rapper who tours. Now, when you move around, sometimes the niggas who you invited to your crib, they don't move around. Do you think Soulja Boy telling niggas to leave sometimes? Probably not, okay? Do those niggas probably know the ins and outs to his crib, where the security camera at, where the safe is at, where the gun's at, pretty much where the cash at? Probably pretty much, right? Now, Soulja Boy just recently got locked up. And all them hoodlums and nigglets that be kicking it at his house like a bunch of fucking cockroaches, these niggas, yeah, these niggas are hungry. And of course, these niggas have taken shit, okay? Now, apparently, they're saying some people who clearly Soldier Boy had to know ran up in his crib and stole about $100,000 in cash, stole over $500,000 in jewelry, and pretty much, man, these motherfuckers have, like, even stolen his phone and even went live on Instagram. Now, at first, I would say Soldier, even behind bars, he's still a fraud. He's lying. 
Okay? Because here's the here's a the theory, right? What rappers do, and this is true, when you buy a bunch of jewelry, five hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry when you hear it in the media costs the rapper like a hundred thousand dollars. But it's appraised for five hundred thousand dollars because it's insured for five hundred thousand dollars. So if it ever gets snatched, you lose it or whatever, or it gets stolen, right? Burglarized, you could then tell the insurance company to give you half a million dollars. However, this is why I think this might not be the fucking case. Because if your homies is in on it with you, right? Why would your homies then go on Instagram Live? Because you got to file a police report when you're going to try to get the money from your goddamn insurance company. So now you got to file a police report on your homie, on, on, on something that your homies had their face all in, right? So the cops are going to go investigate your homies. And pretty much it's like saying and trading your homies like freedom for this whole like insurance scam okay i hope you guys followed that so i'm thinking that genuinely soldier boy is not in on this this is actually a bunch of niggas who probably knew soldier boy a little bit they ran up in his crib probably knew some niggas who knew the whereabouts of his crib and like how to get in and move around they robbed the nigga very sad and unfortunate because soldier boy is learning probably the same thing that nipsey probably didn't get to learn you can't trust these niggas, okay? And whether you're in your hood of Bompton, okay, or near your hood like Big Soldier, or you're even in your hood like where Nipsey was at, you just can't trust these niggas, okay? I'm hoping Soldier Boy get his shit back, $100,000 in cash and $500,000 in jewelry, but before he gets it back, somebody get that damn jewelry, a goddamn diamond tester. Because when Soulja Boy was up on Everyday Struggle, most of them goddamn jewelry sounded like it was pots and pans. So, hopefully he gets out of jail soon and he gets all his possessions back. And maybe from now on when he gets an Airbnb worth like $6 million, maybe he'll stop inviting the whole fucking hood to come kick it in there with him. Alright? By the way, let me tell you this. Go look at Soulja Boy last like 20 videos. They're all shot in the fucking mansion. So that might be smart. Use, get a mansion, rent it for a little bit, shoot all your videos in it, and then like in a couple of months or in a year, move to another spot. That's a recording expense. That might be smart. However, it's not smart when you got your homies all up in your crib that they know your shit that they could rob your ass. Why all these robberies always happen in L.A.? It seems like only in motherfucking L.A. and California, niggas always breaking into shit, niggas always stealing shit. What the fuck is going on? Y'all let me know in the comment sections. Boy, academics, make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. Uh, these motherfuckers is dumb if they really did steal some shit. Why would you go live? Even the thieves, they're not comfortable with the goddamn $100,000 in cash and $500,000 in jewelry. They wanted clout. Sad. Again, comment box. Boy, academics. What y'all think about this?